I've so been looking forward to this day when I can start the planking. Um, but lots of surprises and again the mistakes of the past are going to come and bite you. So you need to really spend time and be careful. Today we went to line up the binding strakes and immediately ran into this problem where the spacing was different from the forward mast partner. And um, so we ran a line down the length of the model um, and everything lined up perfectly except the forward mast partner. So we're going to correct that and shift that across to get that balanced because there's no way you can hide that. It really just needs to go across probably two inches. As you can see, I've run the line. I use this little weight to keep it down flat on the deck and recentered recentered the forward mast and it's really right on the, the center line which is supposed to be then made up two spacers and recentered the forward hatch and everything is now lining up so you can see I, I made an error here with the um, carlin. It was way too forward. So I'm going to suggest, and certainly I'm going to use it going forward, a center line be run every time I am um, redoing the frame certainly on the next floor to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. Before we start the planking, we need to clean up everything, make sure everything is level and that there are no issues. This is really the last opportunity to do that. And I don't want to find myself in the middle of the planking to find something underneath that the framing isn't right. The first thing we need to do is to clean up the edge. Um, this is the inside edge of the waterway. I've tried various other tools. So instead I've made up this little block which has a piece of sandpaper stuck on it. And it has a flat edge and a curved edge. So right now we're doing the flat edge. In the process we had damaged the scuttle framing, so we've repaired that. I spent a long time studying what Greg and David have in the book and looked at my model and everything doesn't quite line up the way this lines up. So I've decided on the key takeaways is the thing must be ordered and balanced and even on both sides and slightly tapered to the front and the back. Um, those are the rules that doesn't matter how the layout proceeds, those are the rules we must all adhere to. So what I've decided to do is the first binding strakes um, are going to go and give me a nice clean line off the hatches. I've put two spacers here and I am not going to taper the binding um, strakes until they come stern and then I'll only cut on the outside of the strake and pull it in towards the stern um, so it's not going to be a bending in it's going to be a tapered so that on this side we'll have a straight line because that's going to give us make it easy for us to line up the pieces on the inside
we're going to first fill in the center piece around the king plank. We have 30 inches between the king plank and the binding plank. So that means we'll have uh, three 10 inch pieces on either side. And it's roughly the same all the way through. So we'll cut some 10 inch plank stock and um, I'm quite sure we'll have a, an adjustment as we get close to the king plank. One of the better tools that I've purchased, this turbo carver, really is fantastic. This circular diamond bit didn't work that great, but it was enough to cut the pieces off. And again, being very, very gentle on the model itself. There are three bits that come through the lower deck floor, um, so you need to um, locate them now. Uh, the first one is the riding bit, the second one is the main topsail sheet bit, and uh, the main jib bit, which this, in this case of this one, um, a beam actually sits on top of it. So the location of that beam is essential. Um, I've done another video which explains how we make these up, so I'm not really going to, to do that. But I did make up um, a few extra main gear bit.
if you go back in the video you'll see that I made this one properly so that it, the slot here fits right in the beam but if you want to slip it in and out as I do I've actually had to cut it down um, to get it to fit in so that it'll fit in and go forward and then of course you would use a square to make sure you line it up perfectly this one is fits right here and it's pinned to the beam beam 11 so again this is not too much of a problem I'll stick it in but it will only become relevant when it goes through the um, upper deck and this one in the back actually cuts into the main mast aft grating um, I will locate this one um, and again the top of this sits right on top of the beam so um, not too critical at this point in time uh, to place this Although I said I was going to try and taper the back, I made a decision to actually run it parallel the whole way back. I just couldn't figure out how to curve the outside edge while at the same time keeping the inside edge straight. It was much easier to keep the outside edge straight. So when I figure that out, I'll let you know. Perhaps by the time I get to the top decks, so I'll have resolved this problem. Well, that was a marathon, and I'm glad I finally got that center part done. So I'll clean up, make sure there are no errors, um, and then proceed. And then we're just going to end off by my little experiment of how we establish the line, the joins between the planks. I'm undertaking this experiment, as I told you all, where I will plank a piece of wood. Um, in one case, I would just um, use the glue that I've darkened with acrylic um, and really pay no attention to any preparation of the pieces and on the other side I would put some rub on poly um, to seal the wood um, to see if there's any staining that takes place. I was very liberal on how I put the glue on. I wasn't careful to protect uh, the piece in either experiment. So it, the idea was to find out if accidentally glue got on the surface of the plank, whether there'd be staining. So this is the piece. And then of course, I sanded it down um, to see what we if we get all the stain and all the glue off the piece. Um, this is now 24 hours later. I've cleaned it up. Certainly the piece um, that had no protection on the planks, I had to work a lot harder to get it off so there was some slight penetration of the, um, of the acrylic into the top surface, but eventually it came off. On the second piece where I covered the wood with some rub-on poly, it was much easier to clean it up and I have to say the lines are really quite nice um, so I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Although not cleaned up as yet the caulking here is simulated using pencil on the side of both boards and uh, I have to say it's almost as good as um, using the darkened glue and there's less chance of error or bleed.